Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be exploring Sea Point. Sea Point. Get it? <laughs> anyway, there's tons of stuff to see here from big buildings and stuff, but as well as there's going to be some great food. And, 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 and paraglider. And there are paragliders and, let me show you a paraglider quickly. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> And there's going to be some great food and some walking down the streets and showing you some of the shops that are out there. Come join us. Let's go. And yeah, people do actually surf here because it's got waves. Oh, oh, oh. Good luck, buddy. This is the promenade bit, but look at these rocks in the sea. What? They're pretty what? awesome. Oh man, how awesome are these trees? It's like it is bent fully over. Uh-huh. Put a put a chair under that and you got yourself a nice picnic spot, Greg. <laughs> That's super cool. And that's Lion's Head. This is an awesome place to get some street food. We've got loads of it here. We've got some great places to sit as well. Let me just swing you around. You see some places. I'll leave a card for you guys so you can see we get actually ate some street food here. And it's right looking at the sea. I'm directly there. I got a snail. <laughs> the whale and the snail. Oh, well, there's a tiny little whale and the snail. <laughs> awesome looking snail. Ha ha ha. Hey buddy. Seagulls bathing. They really look like they have an awesome time. Maybe. Uh huh. I'm just going to swing you guys around because they're humans bathing as well. Yeah, and it's uh, Olympic size. Wow. <laughs> if you don't feel like a stroll and want to go faster, you can actually hire a bike and a stroller so that you can enjoy the promenade. <laughs> Am I pulling you? Don't forget to bring your puppy for a stroll. <laughs> sea rescues here. And they're actually training. So they've they got some people in the water to train. Oh, that's what it actually does say. Eh? Now it's getting scary. like the 1950s these beautiful pools and everything and they used to have a tea garden I'm not sure if they still have all of this oh well I don't see anything yeah but I really love these spots yeah promenades also for dancing yeah. good. <laughs> awesome I think they're doing TikToks uh -huh. <laughs> awesome guys <laughs> Picture perfect day. To come and explore Sea Point. <laughs> that's Lion's Head. Oh, yeah, that's how you look at it. Wow. And the hop on, hop off comes right past. Oh, there we are, there's the pricing. So 34.20. And you can actually come get your tickets here. And in you go. Pool temperature, 12 degrees. It is icy cold out there. <laughs> awesome. There's a bit of a gym as well. Outdoor gym. And of course, tons of picnic -y spots. Wild sea. Something, something about a metamorphic extruded into an igneous or something like that. <laughs> really, really unique. Go Darwin.
Guess we lost Ricky. Don't worry guys, I'll continue the vlog. <laughs> There's a reason this promenade still exists and isn't all big tower buildings like these around here. It's simply because it used to be a railway. 1905 and then they electrified it in 1927 and in 1928 they ripped it up because it wasn't making any money. <laughs> but it's state government land. Oh and there's another beach here. Oh that's the sea behind us with some trees and we're actually going to be heading up inland a little bit now and walk down one of the streets. The main road in fact. Food, very important. There are so many places to come stay here. It is like you want to come on holiday here, this is where the accommodation is. There's so much of it. It's like a futuristic, like Monopolis, Metropolis, Metropolis building. <laughs> we have arrived on Regent Road. Yeah, Regent means like king. That is like the main road. And this is the point that we're coming to. Yes, it is. To get better than a Camaro. Awesome. No, it doesn't. <laughs> awesome car. Told you we'd get to the point. <laughs> you know, the point. Yeah, anyway, it, it's a shopping center. So let's go ahead and check it out. It's massive. Oh, wow. And yeah, they've fixed their lights for vloggers. Not a flashy, flashy in sight. And food. Well, wow. Some, some say food. <laughs> there does seem to be more to the point. <laughs> never going to get over there. But the escalator doesn't work, so we're not going to walk up there and show you. If you want, come here, go up yourselves. Right outside the point, you got some veg for sale. So it's probably cheaper than checkers. And fruit. didn't expect this, like a family supermarket, like a little takeaways, like on this big street. Uh-huh, everything you need for your holiday. Pretty awesome. Shoe in, shoe in bag repairs. Oh man, and you can take a taxi into, into Cape Town. Now look at these old, look at the, wait, wait guys, wait, wait. Look at the puppies in the old house. <laughs> Oh man. Holistic Pets Nutrition. Wow. These are the guys who worked there at the dog place. And this old building, as I pointed out, 1929, was when they shut down the railway. So they built this building instead. <laughs> well, I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but it's here since then. It's a nursery. And of course, for sure on trend. And well, in case you don't know where you are, you're here. <laughs> oh, that's epic! It's not a myth, guys. It's not a myth. Once you found the horse, uh huh, the myth place, as I mentioned earlier, you are so close to. Look at it! Look at it! Mojo Market's right there. Let's get some food, Rick. I'm starving. Got some rice dishes here. They look really beautiful. Hello. Hi. Nice looking shawarma. Thank you. Monty's Burger Bar. When I see that, I'm expecting some burgers. And I'm not disappointed. Oh, oh, oh. Look at these burgers! This you see nicely on the back is all blurry. <laughs> it's like witchcraft. 
Don't <laughs> <laughs> cameras with the guys. Is that <laughs> Tawanda, that looks so good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Say, enjoy your food. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at this. Wow. Oh, 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 a million photos. Over 100 taps. Uh huh. I mean, I didn't even know there were that many beers in the world. Awesome. That's, that's a lot of beer. On Sundays, Mojo does have some salsa classes that you can come join in. And they also normally have live music and karaoke sometimes, but there's always an event. So go check out their Facebook page. When you come to Mojo, you are definitely going to find something you want to eat. Well, anyway, let's continue the story. We're heading down the road. If you take the bus, the bus does come past you. The 109. Not the 105. It goes uphill. <laughs> Let me show you. We took the wrong bus earlier, but we found a fire station. Wow. Sometimes when you take the wrong bus, it brings you to something interesting. And I don't mean that building. I mean the old fire station. Oh, man. Awesome fire station, but it is still Sea Point, so there's going to be a lot of construction. Look at the size of that screw! Oh, ho. Mr. Chen's Chinese, and oh, it's getting a little bit nippy, so we're putting our jackets on. So that's the transition to jackets being on. Oh, yeah, if you look up there, it says Station House, right? And there's a train! Oh, ho, it's actually a restaurant! It's the Blue Train Restaurant! Oh man, if only I'd known we'd come and eat them there. Or maybe we still can. Ricky was just saying it smells so sweet. And look what we found. Uh-huh. It's a place where they make cakes. And they have cake decorations. <gasps> That's amazing. Anyway, onwards. There's a pick and pay over there. But don't bother about that because we got the queen. Yeah, it's like an old fountain and it is Queen Victoria, 1897. Wow. I suppose it would give water to people. I was so busy looking at Queen Victoria that I missed this old building. They've got a clock. As you can see, it's 9.30. And they have a, 
Uh, 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 another way of telling the time that's actually accurate because it's not 9.30. <laughs> of course, I got to get Ricky with the beautiful aloe, but I didn't tell her, so she looked away. Oh, there's more than one. Beautiful aloes. Yeah. And they flower at this time of year. Maybe they just flower all the year. I wonder if that's still a backpackers. Oh, and there's an ocean basket. Oh, we can cross. Ocean basket and Woolworths. There are loads of places down here. You have some house prices. I'm not quite sure where these are. Camps Bay, 18 million. And obviously the one that's just listed. Point. Apparently that is how you said it. Wow. Point. Wow. Lovely for the whole building. But it's living the dream, yeah. So living the dream, guys. It's a bit reflective, guys, but this is Clifton, so you can expect to pay wow. 200 million rand. I mean, for the whole of Clifton, it's not bad. Yeah, no, no, obviously. Wow, hey. Keep walking, keep walking. <laughs> oh, we into the Asian Quarter with, uh, not sure if you're allowed to say Japs, but anyway. And then some other Simply Asia and... Okay, wow. Press, it's a coffee shop with croissants and things. Really? And yes, they're open during load shedding. <laughs> Gadgets. And there's a f Indian cuisine food court. Oh, do you want to have a quick look? So we do the shawamas and the curries. Shawamas and curries. And it's those brinjals cooking. It just smells so good. Oh, it does. Look at these curries. And that rice. Is that biryani? Yes. That must be. It's confirmed it's biryani. Oh, man. They also do noodles here. Really? Look at that. We are, we are definitely going to have to come and, and directly uh, eat here. Definitely. Oh man, food court Indian cuisine. If we hadn't stopped at Mojo's, we would definitely be eating here. It smells so authentic. And I'm everything. I'm hungry. I know. That would fall. Thanks, guys. So here we are along the main street. If you guys are interested in what's happening here. Uh huh. There's a checkers with the crispy creme. They seem to be popping up everywhere. And then at the end, a McDonald's. Oh, and there's Hello Asia. We've got to go check that out, Rick. Yeah. Hello Asia, awesome colored building. Anyway, I think they have loads of Asian stuff. We'll go and have a quick look. Sorry. Oh, instant noodles. Look at them all. Oh, wow. Different types of rice. Jasmine rice, sticky rice. Oh, jasmine rice. Sushi rice. Sticky rice. Sushi rice. Now you know where it's come. This oh, stuff and is then difficult to find in South Africa. Peanuts, yeah. Red rice. Oh, proper red rice. Mm -hmm. well, I wonder if they have the fermented one. And the, oh, mm. oh, Ricky's mouth is watering. <laughs> noodle. Oh man, eh? it's just so much stuff here. So many noodles. Uh, noodle heaven, Rick. I don't know. I don't even know which one to get. Okay. I'm just going to show you some of these things and put in some of the prices so you guys can see. Uh, if you're looking for Asian stuff, there's an indication of price. And I'm, I'm not 100% sure what half these things are, guys, so bear with me. <laughs> Plum sauce. I know that goes with Peking duck. Oh, and there's just so much more. Yeah. Okay, okay, guys. Uh -huh. Oh man, they have the lotus. Look at them. They are so pretty. I don't even know what you do with them, but they look awesome. And all the like daikon. Daikon radish. Probably not that one. <laughs> but there's going to be one somewhere. I don't know where to look anymore. They got chopsticks. Steaming baskets, giant steaming baskets, all sorts of cutlery and crockery, and of course, frozen stuff. And then all these fun things, I don't even know what they are. Sunflower seeds, roasted. <laughs> I know what that is. Red bean mochi. 
This is actually a place you have to come visit. White rabbit and incense. Bubble tea in it. Well, and it's the milk one. Definitely going to get one of those. But I just want to show you they have tofu. Yeah, actual tofu. Oh, look at that dried chili. With pour. the seeds and the oh. Oh man, you just pour your boiling oil on and you got hot. Oh, it's just bonita flakes. Everything you need. Crispy onions. Crispy onions. It, it's like, come make your own Chinese food here. Wasabi powder. And also fine white pepper and hodishi. What's that? Maybe it's a dashi. Okay. And they're all like 18 rand, whatever these things are. 26 for ginger powder. Oh, and if you're looking for five spice, here it is. <laughs> oh, they got some great flavors here. Artificial bone Artificial, I mean, that's cool. They have chicken noodle and mutton flavor and classic beef and... Pickled cabbage. Pickled cabbage. They're all 16 rand. Come try them all. I know I am. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, Asia. has literally everything. I've got some bubble tea. <laughs> I need you flavor, whatever that means. But awesome, come visit it. Oh. What's I need you? Oh, it's actually quite nice. I mean, it's really, really nice. It's like sweet um, flavored tea, but I'm not getting the bubbles. Maybe, the, the, maybe I should have shaken it. <laughs> she definitely said, do not shake. <laughs> oh, you should give this a try, Rick. Mm, mm. It's nice, eh? Melon. Melon, that's mm. what it is. <laughs> Boa. Males. Not snakes. <laughs> Not snakes. No snakes for sale here. It is. It just flashed too much. And in there, I think it's an old school. Really? Beautiful old building. Oh my word. Yeah. Wow. Oh man, this is such a great view. Lion's Head and Table Mountain. I might just have to zoom you guys a bit. Table Mountain and Lion's Head. Oh, this is actually a real hidden gem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Authentic Indian food. Uh, and he makes the best curry in Seapoint. The best curry in Seapoint, which means it's probably the best curry in Cape Town. <laughs> this is Herban Life. It's a social club. It's got nice greenery on the outside and it's, oh, oh it's one of those places, okay. <laughs> wow, genuine wrought iron awesomeness. And there's a church. Cool, oh, it must have been a cool tree. I wonder what it did wrong. <laughs> Cosco, isn't that like an American? Anyway, I think it's a cafe shop. And La Bohème, it's a. I don't know. Probably, probably. It's here now. Bella Italia. Uh huh. Buy two pastas for 160. It's pretty cool in there. That's a cool old restaurant in an old house. Oh, gonna get run over. Don't look at two old houses while crossing the road, guys. Really? That looks like Snookies. You can tell by the seagulls all flying around. Uh, welcome to Snookies, everyone. There's two in Seapoint. <laughs> Stud, the burger shop. No bull, just beef. But there are loads of these these places here. The Fat Cactus Clubhouse and some others. It's like a lot of food here now. Oh wow, a walk around Sea Point is always epic. But stop for food and have a break because it's a big adventure. Well, you everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time. That's our bus. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. okay. Off you go, Rick. <laughs> Off home, finally. Yeah.
such a long day. Hi, thank you.